I'm so excited. This is going to help some people out out there. This thing does not cost that much. All right, what's going on, friends? In this video, we're going to be talking about this Dobson 2000L power station. Now, what I'm really excited about is they are, they are saying that you can use this as like a UPS. That stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. Now, if you've ever looked up a UPS, like on Amazon or something, to buy one, so you could like plug your pellet stove into it, to get something that is close to the same amount of battery power that this thing has, I don't think you can even do it. But I did as much research as I did, I found the biggest thing I could find with a battery where I could plug that into, just in case if I ever lost my electricity, so my Harman pellet stove would keep running, the thing was like close to $2,000. The price of this at the time of this video right now is like right around, I think five or $600. And this has way bigger battery. So it doesn't even really compare. Along with, if I would lose power, I could keep running my pellet stove and like run a fridge and a freezer. Especially if I put solar panels onto this and, and kept this charge up throughout the day. It's like a no brainer, if this works. Now I've not even tried this yet, so this is gonna be the first time I try this. So we'll see what happens. Now they do have bigger ones like this and they're supposed to work the same exact way. So if you would wanna get one of these and you wanted a bigger one with bigger batteries in it, I will put a couple of these down in my description and in my first comment, just in case you would wanna buy one of the larger ones because they are way cheaper than a UPS. Say I have my pellet stove plugged into this and then I have this plugged into my outlet and I lose power. It says it has a 15 millisecond like changeover. So hopefully that's quick enough. So this thing doesn't shut off because you guys know what happens when that shuts off and loses power. It just starts putting, some of the smoke will come into your room and well that and you have no heat. But I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually plug this pellet stove into this Plug this into the wall and we're gonna get that pellet stove started up right here in the beginning of this video. And I'm gonna do like probably two or three times throughout this video, I wanna to try to simulate a power outage. So I'm gonna turn that outlet off right back here. Let me show you. That outlet, that outlet right back there, that's what my lights are plugged into right now. So when I turn that outlet off, these lights are gonna go off, so watch. All right, there you have it. Now, that is where my lights are plugged into. I'm gonna also plug this into it. I guess there's so many ways I could do this and fool you, but I'm doing this for me also, so you're just gonna have to believe me. I'm trying to prove to you that I'm doing this right. I want I want to see what happens, because I want to be able to use this with my pellet stove, just in case I lose power. So let me get this plugged in. Before I plug it, I want to show you there's pretty much nothing on this side. Only thing we have in the back, back here, is where you're gonna plug in your plug where you could charge this up with like 110 power. And on the back side here, it looks like, I think they call this the XTC connector. Now you're gonna need something else if you wanna plug this into um, solar. So you're gonna need an XTC connector to MC4, I think is what they call it, for right in here. It does come with this plug right here to like plug it into like a 12 volt, like cigarette type thing in your car or truck. Pretty much everything here is on the front. Now these 110 outlets right here have a rated supply of 2,200 watts and they will peak out at 4,400 watts. So if you have something that ha kind of takes a lot of energy to get started right off the bat, you should be good to go as long as it don't go over 4,400 watts. Let me get this pellet stove plugged into here and I'm gonna plug this into my outlet and let's get this pellet stove started while I still talk to you about this. Go away. I want to use this plug. Okay, like that. Let's plug my pellet stove in here. Like that. I think I got to go upstairs to turn this on. Make sure everything's on here. I just got to turn these outlets on back here, down here. I forgot. There's a little button right down here at the bottom I got to push. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, there we have it. It's showing it's got 400 watts going in because it's plugged into the outlet. Right now it should be, it's charged at 100%. Not sure why it even shows any input, but maybe because I'm sucking juice out right now. But right now it's pulling 368 watts out to fire this up. Another thing I found out when I did some research on this, this has a semi, oh my gosh, that's hard to say. This has a semi-solid state lithium iron phosphate battery, which is supposedly one of the safest batteries out there. The battery in here is it's also rated for 4,000 charge cycles. 
that's like using this thing every day for 13 to 14 years so it should last a long time it's also capable of hooking up solar panels like i said in the beginning now you can hook up 800 watts of solar panels they will take in 16 to 60 volts 20 amps well so far everything's going good i got it plugged into here and it's starting my pellet stove up so that's good we'll see what happens when i simulate my first power outage and the, and the Dobson does come with a three-year warranty. This button right here is going to turn on all your AC power. That's, that's these plugs right here. Your DC power is right here. You're going to have to push this button to turn these on. So I have USB and I have USB-C plugs right here. This is a 30 watt and this is a 100 watt USB-C. This is definitely going to be a game changer if this thing works like a UPS. Because like I said in the beginning, I, I could not find any UPS that would be even closely the same size as this thing would be this thing is huge compared to most of the ups out there and they're and they're like i said like the biggest ones i could find were two thousand dollars <laughs> it's crazy so this is going to be awesome got a light right here too all right all right cool there we go we got some flame at least i know the dobson power station will light that up all right i'll get back with you here in about a half an hour all right, it's been a little bit longer than a half an hour. I was busy. All right, let me bring this out here. I didn't want to keep it right in front of the heat. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to move that. It really gets hot over there, but... All right, still plugged into there. Still running. Now I want to do my first simulated power outage. And I still have it all plugged in right back there. Yeah, you can see it right here on video. This is still my cord for my spotlight that I have plugged in back here so you can see me better. Let me go turn off my power, and we'll see if this thing keeps running. If not, it's going to really screw this video up. There we go, right here. Basement receptacles. Oh, my gosh. Did it keep running? Did it keep running? Did it keep running? Huh? Oh, I think it works. That's awesome. Nothing shut off. My pellet stove is still going. Because it's still running my auger to put the dang pellets in there. I know the flame won't go out exactly, but it says it's still pulling 399 watts right now. I can't believe it pulls that many watts. That thing uses more power than I thought. Yeah, watch. I'll show you. This is plugged in to this. Now, since there's no, since there's no power back there, I guess I could unplug this and it should do nothing. Ha! Huh, that's freaking awesome. That is awesome. I'm so excited. This is going to help some people out out there. Because, like I said, a UPS for this, or a battery backup for this pellet stove, is ridiculously expensive. This thing does not cost that much. That's awesome. Yeah, right now it's showing zero watts input. That means there's nothing going out. But I got power going out, 100%. I wish I knew how long this would run like that. What does that say right there? I can't, I need my glasses on it. It does tell me how long this will run right here. It will run four hours like that. So if my power don't come back on in four hours, this thing's going to die. But right now it says it will run four hours. I don't know. That is flipping awesome. Let me, I may try this one more time. I'm going to let it run all night like this. I think I'll plug this back in because I can't go four hours. And then we'll try it one more time and then we'll call that the end of this video. So far, this is 100% success. I think this is awesome. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if this helps you out. For some of you guys that lose power all the time, like I said, you can buy a bigger one of these. Now, this is 2,048 watt hours. So if you figure that out with 2,048 watt hours, it says it will last four hours. So if you can just, if you buy the bigger one, I'm not sure what their bigger one is, but if they have one that's like twice that, it will last eight hours. That is still way better than a UPS. I think with most of the UPS I was seeing out there, you'd be lucky this would last one hour. Now, I know some people do make up their own little batteries, and uh, they do make up their own little UPS systems, but they're not UPS systems because it ain't like this where they will just keep on running. A, a lot of people out there only lose their power for like a half an hour or an hour or two hours, and then it comes back on. This would be awesome. That's great. That is so awesome. Well, I'll get back with you tomorrow morning, and then we'll end this video. If you do have any questions on this, I will have, just leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to answer any of your questions. And if you do want to check one of these out, I will have this one along with maybe a couple of their bigger ones down below. I think they have one, definitely one more bigger than this, if not two. 
I will have them also in my description and in my first comment. So if you shut this video off now, stay awesome and thanks for watching. And hit that subscribe button to help support this channel. All right, it's the next morning and I did have one hiccup with this, but it was my own fault because I forgot to make it so the AC plugs do not turn off. So if this pellet stove turned off and it stayed off for over two hours and then it turned back on because it's not like really, really cold out right now. So I think it shut off and it didn't turn right back on right away. The power station itself will actually just completely shut off if it thinks nothing is using it. So I had to, um, I had to get into the app and make it so this never turns off, which was really, really easy to do. I just didn't realize that. So now it should totally be fine. I'm gonna kind of keep messing with this a little while, but I think this 100% is gonna work as a UPS, an uninterrupted power supply, which is really, really awesome. That is definitely a game changer because like I said, them things are crazy expensive, but I wanna try this one more time. I'm gonna simulate turning my power off to see if this goes, because right now, it's just starting to light up. You can see a little bit of sparks going up. So let me do it real quick. I, again, I have that light plugged into that same outlet. I know I could probably be rigging this different ways, but I really want this to work just for me. And if this works, I want to try to talk to my, mo my, my mom and stepdad have a rice coal burner that is just like this, and they lose power all the time. So something like this would be awesome for them. And it's way, way cheaper than those UPS. So here we go. Let me turn that power off. Here we go. That's good. Everything's still running. The fans are still running. Because if I unplug that, that fire will just die right down. Because it needs air to blow up through that burn chamber. This is awesome. I hope I can show this to enough people. If you know somebody else that has a pellet stove or a rice coal burner that needs something like this, just share this video. This, this would really, really help somebody out, I think. I know people that their electricity goes out like once or twice a month. And a lot of times it's only for an hour or two hours, so this would be fine. All right, well, that's it for this video. If this video helped you out and you learned something about using this for a UPS, just give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about this. I'll do my best to try to answer any of them questions. And hit that subscribe button to help support this channel. And like I said, if you want to check one of these out, I will have one of these down in my description and in my first comment. And I'll put that bigger unit out. And I'll put that bigger unit down there too if you want to check one of them out. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, even if it's just asking anything or if it's just saying you really like this video. Shoot, if it's just saying you like my beard, people. Hit that subscribe button to help support this channel. God bless and have a great day.